You know, one of the cases involved a flurry of police activity on the street behind me. It's about six blocks from campus. The other situation involved a student who lived in the University Park apartments. Two separate death investigations at two different locations near the University of Cincinnati has students and those living in the neighborhoods asking what happened. Definitely hoping for some answers here soon, at least. One of the cases unfolded inside University Park Apartments off Calhoun Street on the edge of UC's campus. That's where a 22-year-old woman passed away. According to a loved one on Facebook, the woman died from a medical condition. In a message to classmates, UC's Dean of Students wrote, quote, We experienced the death of one of our Bearcats, calling it a very difficult time. In an unrelated case, just hours later, Cincinnati police descended on this house divided into apartments on Parker Street, blocks away from campus. I looked down my window and I saw like five police cars roll in, like just park real quick, all get out. Um, and then like we saw a fire truck come in and then an ambulance come in. Once inside one of the apartments, police found the lifeless body of a 20 year old woman. Hamilton County's coroner told me late this afternoon the case is not a homicide. Exactly how the woman died is not yet clear, but police arrested 42 year old David Isom at the scene. Isom was in court this morning on charges including resisting arrest and possession of cocaine. It was pretty uh, chilling. We uh, watched the body um, come out in the body bag and saw some parents and it was just heartbreaking, honestly. Now, before I found out the case here on Parker Street is not a homicide, a Cincinnati police sergeant did tell me the public was not in harm's way. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.